this is a happy day, uh, but it's also a day that I am quite apprehensive. Thank you for joining me. This is hopefully a quick unboxing, but I could elaborate a little bit further depending on what I see. This day um, should never have happened because I should not be needing a Sangilobia if it hadn't been for King who thought he needed it more than I do. Meanwhile, this is a replacement purchase for a Lelia Sangiloba that I lost a couple of weeks ago, which made me very, very, yeah. Never mind the word that it made me. Let me see that I get this all out of the way. So yeah, I'm apprehensive today because my Sangiloba prior was actually quite a big plant despite no roots, but she had just started rooting in. Three months ago, and she was rooting in, I could do the tug test and she was almost solid in the pot. So uh, it's like starting again. I have to be careful because these are potted up. What have they, did they pot them in rocks? Anyway, so yeah, I'm apprehensive because I had a Sangilobia on the go that was doing really, really well. But then as you do, and by the way, these came from Luque, as you do, if there's more Lelias in there that I don't have, I'm going to add two more. And let's hope that we got it right. Oh, please. I don't want to sound breathless, but I am kind of out of breath because I'm nervous. I'm nervous from what I know was happening before to what I see now. But this is not a Sangilobia. Let me make sure I get all this right. Let's talk about Lelia Brigeriae. Or let me unpack them all and then we can discuss, if you want to stay, let me discuss and follow up on my video regarding new imports and how to take care of them from day one. So for the unboxing, welcome. Thank you for being here. There goes confetti for king. And if you're going to stay and listen to my update, then thank you so very, very much. So there's two more in here that I don't have and the replacement Sangilobia, which is this one. Okay, deep breath. It is more than I expected. Don't wanna get ahead of myself but it is more than I expected. So we'll talk about that. Now, let me get the other one. King is already going nuts with all the... Hello. Four orchids? I only ordered three. Oh, I got a present. Oh, wow, they did that last time, but last time I had such a massive order. This is not that massive of an order. Well, thank you very, very much, Luca. That is so sweet of you. Thank you, I appreciate that a lot. Wow. No, 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 I was thinking, you know, you make a big order and they send you, and they're the, one of the very few nurseries that do that, sending you a free orchid. So this wasn't a big order, but I got another one. Thank you very, very much, Luca. Thank you. This is my other little one that I didn't have. This is Brade. Brade. Oh, well, they, I guess it's not going to be that quick of an unboxing now. We got to look at what we got as a present. But we will discuss as a follow-up to the new imports video. Let's, we'll talk about it if you're interested. If not, that's fine too, but I am so curious to know what this is. Again, vielen herzlichen Dank. Das freut mich riesig. Vielen Dank. Was für eine Überraschung. <gasps> I didn't order you. But wow. My goodness. How kind. Was soll ich sagen? Du meine Güte. Das ist aber super lieb. Ich habe Gänsehaut. Das ist aber super, super lieb. Ach, Gänsehaut. Und es ist so warm hier im Schatten. 
Lelia Regentii. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe it. How thoughtful. Oh, did you know that I lost, I didn't tell you that I lost my Sangilobia. I just went and took out my card and went to the computer to fulfill some kind of a void I was feeling within 10 minutes of seeing an empty pot. I didn't, oh, Luca Orchideen, vielen, vielen herzlichen Dank. Das freut mich riesig. Und die Tatsache, dass Sie auch eine Lelia Regentii mit eingepackt haben, das ist super, super lieb. Vielen Dank. Ich, ich habe, mir fehlen die Worte. Look, I need another tub. <lacht> wow. Yes. This is, oh, this is so sweet. Did I, did, <lacht> did I start off by saying apprehensive? Um, I'm totally overwhelmed now. Oh my goodness. All right. Okay. Let's talk. If you've made it this far, thank you so very much. Now let's talk about new imports as opposed to buying from a nursery. All right. <laughs> let's do this one talk about the Sangilobia based on my new imports video the other day and see if I can protect the mic. All right. Here's. Lelia Sangilobio 2.0. What I got for $15 eight months ago because of the global pandemic, I would have had the Floralia one last year in May. So I only got it in September because of the global pandemic. It was a very rough looking orchid and had absolutely no roots and had three growths. So in my video, if you haven't seen it, I say that new imports, even if they're not advertised as such, will come. The only difference with bare root as opposed to buying one from the nursery in the territory of where you are trading is the fact that they come and they put bark around it. Well, here they have a full mother load of cocoa husk. And this orchid cost me 20 euros. And she is starting to grow roots. This is very pleasant. But you can see I'm pulling out old roots. So to me, this Sangilobia is not a new import. This one has been around, I think, in my opinion, in their possession for a year. And when you had got, if I had gotten this one last year, then I would have gotten it with all these dead roots and no new roots or very, very little. To my understanding, this one is, well, they've had it a year or eight months if they got the same shipment as I did in September of last year. But look at it, three growths, new roots starting. We are going to be in business. Oh my goodness. And you know what I am also seeing now? I'm hoping this one is correctly labeled because it doesn't resemble the same that I lost. So I don't know if I have the same orchid here, if the other one was mislabeled. I'm going to put up a comparison picture, but she is much, much bigger than what I had for $15 and she was 20 euros. To my understanding, she has been in Europe already for at least eight months, if not longer. I mean, we have roots attached to cocoa fiber, but not for long. Let's put you in some water with 100 parts per million of calcium and magnesium and 60 parts per million of seaweed at 6.3 because that her coconut husk is no longer part of her future. And then let's look at this one. Let's get the tag in with the other tub. Let's look at Briggery. So we're going to knock another one off the list. And this is my Briggery. And I'm going to say that this one arrived this year sometime. Just hedging my bet here, starting to start new growth. But from what I see and how that coca husk just fell off. This one arrived recently, got a new growth coming there. But with the failing roots and everything, 
There was nothing there to tell me it's been in Europe for long. So, acclimating will start. Sasahibi! But here is the Briggery. Beautiful, beautiful size. Loving it. Also goes into the water, same, same concoction. They all go in, everybody gets treated the same. Let's see how this one comes out of the pot. Yep. My understanding, this is a new import, as labeled as such, even though it wasn't announced as such on the web page. This is a new import, by the way it fell out of the pot, but we have new roots. <laughs> this is Lelia Brade. There's probably two here, but for now they'll stay together until I have a little bit of a closer goo and a look-see. Look at that cute new growth right there. Brade, wonderful. New import, according to my opinion, not even in Europe for over a year, more than a couple of months. And my Regentii, oh my goodness. I have a Regentii. Oh my goodness, the second one, I'm so happy. What a shame about that little break there. Is it all broken? No, it's just a bit ditched. But this one is a little bit longer in Europe than the other ones because I can see how the roots have attached to the cocoa husk. So this one's probably been in this hemisphere about eight months. Not more than that because Regenti eyes are very, very difficult on the root growth front. They're quite complicated. The hardest one I have yet to suss out to make sure the roots stay healthy. But it like the coca husk, you can see, but it won't be in coca husk for much longer. This was it, the last time that it had coca husk. So here are the new imports, according to Germany to Spain. But you can see the difference between what has come out of a pot with coca fiber on it, the ones that have been longer in our hemisphere or our climate, they will then have started growing roots and attach themselves to the media. Because these nurseries, and I know Luke buys from Floralia, and Luke sends the packages on. If you order from Floralia, they will send to Germany if you're in Europe, and then distribute from there on in, and Luca is the one that they send to. So Luca will also get the same bare root as we saw in my unboxing of my Floralia hole. And then they stuff him into a pot, and this time with coca fiber, which I thought was extremely interesting and very encouraging to see that they're also starting on coca fiber. Correction, coco husk. The longer that the orchid has been in Europe, Roots have grown and attached themselves to the media and all the ones that just fell out of the pot, they will not have been here long either. They just got put into a pot to then be able to handle them better in a nursery operation as opposed to privately. Let's see, maybe I cleared it up. If I didn't, you want to go back and check that video with regards to what I talk about the new imports and how to take care of them from day one. I will leave a link in the description below. But other than that, my goodness, we have our work cut out for us here. Fantastic. And once again, thank you, Lucas, so very, very much. What a thoughtful extra orchid to send. You could have sent me anything, a phalaenopsis, anything. You saw the order was about Rapiculus Lelius and you sent me a Rapiculus Lelius. I cannot be more grateful. Thank you, Luca. That is super, super special and I really, really appreciate it. As much as I appreciate everybody that watched this video and I hope that you have yourselves a wonderful day. Take care and please stay safe. Bye.